So in today's video, we're going to go through a function called exact. So wonder what that does? I'll go through it in a second. So welcome back. This is Repasuelo from Curval.com and it is time again for another Dax Fridays. In today's Dax Fridays, we're going to go through a function that you know about if you've had the need for. Otherwise, I don't think you know what it does. But stay tuned, watch what it does, because it's very useful when you need it, so you know. It's like, oh, I have to compare two things. I have to use exact. Okay, I'll show you how it works right now. Let's go. Okay, so let's look at how this exact function works, right? And I have a perfect example of how this is useful from the DAX Fridays video from last week. So on last week, we are again on the Northwind data set that we always use. You have all the details here about it. And uh, what we did is explain the difference between distinct count, distinct and values. And we had three measures for that they are here and they all produce the same result or did it you know these are not a lot of numbers but if the table was bigger you would like to know these this this measure produced the same as these and the same as these and you can say oh Ruth you can actually you know subtract them and if they are zero is the same result sure you can do that you can do all the way a lot of ways this is numbers but this exact works with text also it will allow you to compare these easily so let's do that let's go to new measure uh, same result and then we're going to use exact and then we're going to use unique distinct and unique distinct count we have there, we put it in here, and if it is the same result, it will give us true. And then here we see it. It is exactly the same result. Now, question, can we add a third parameter? And you can see that you can't. You can see it here because it says text one, text two, otherwise it will be like dot, dot, dot. But if you try to add it, it will tell you literally that the max argument for the function is two. So now, you know, this one is equal to this one. You could remove that one. And then you will see that it's comparing this with this. So it is equal to the other one. So now you see true in there. Um, it definitely works with text too. If we go and look into the documentation for this function, it says, it compared two text strings. We actually compare numbers and it worked. Uh, it says it will say true if they're equal, it will say false if they're not. And this is useful if you're nesting it with something else. You know, if you, you want to know if this is equal to this, then do that, otherwise do that. So by itself, it can be useful for the ex example that I have. But the true power will be on comparing things while doing calculations, okay? So this is a very neat, easy function. So what do you think? Nice little function, right? That is useful, as I said, when you are trying to compare things in order to do other calculations. It is useful in the case that I show you when you just want to know, okay, did it return the same result, yes or no? So. It has a different uh, uses depending on what you're trying to do, as always with DAX. So this is all for today. I'll see you again on the next video. So hope you're enjoying your vacation. Bye.